Hello. Hello everyone, my name is Tanner. Welcome back to the EU4 Cossacks tag team with Spray and Pray. Hey, that's me. Long pause. Yeah, right. sorry. <laughs> I was like asleep. <laughs> Anyways. Right, so we're moving troops eastward. Oh, you're at time. We, we eventually need to get big enough to where like, all right, well, I'm going to go to war in the east and you can just go to war in the west. Mm-hmm. But I guess maybe after Musket, I guess the problem is the, the the Western army would need to be much larger than the Eastern army. Yeah, I think it's probably going to end up happening that we conquer the, uh, the East first. Anyways. It'll be easier. Eventually we'll just get such a big tech lead that it won't really matter. Is Poland want to join our war against Muscovy yet? Nope, and that was not not expected at all. Poland will join. Against Muscovy? But Teutonic Order, Livonian Order, and Sweden are all allied with Muscovy. Yeah. Which I find strange because Muscovy is bordered with Sweden. And the Livonian Order. I can't see it. Oh, I guess, yeah, the darker. It doesn't make sense to me whatsoever. What's Sweden look like? Oh, we don't I, see Sweden. I can't believe the tribes aren't bitching. Did we give them more land? I didn't give them more land. I didn't either. Uh, no, they're still at 33. Oh, they're at 33.6. Not by me. Oh, we need to hire a conquistador. We do? Yeah. Not right now, but Can eventually. We get one? Yeah, we have the ideas. They switched it, didn't they? What? I'm like, what, three expansions behind with that? What do you mean? Like, don't conquistadors do something entirely different now? No, they, that's oh, that a just like a proposed idea. Like, conquistadors weren't necessarily generals. Yeah, like, they're generals, but, um, like, they roll just as good as generals do. There's no, they're like, for instance, there's no reason for me to hire just a regular general when I can hire a conquistador. conquistador. Yeah, because if you hire a regular, he's just going to be a guy you can't use in the new world. Do we have a gold province? Yes. Which one? Uh, this one here, Bash Grid. And we also have uh, Kuka over there where Yarkand used to be, and then I think we just took one from No Guy. Holy, yeah, I was going to wonder why our inflation was going up. That's why I think economic is probably going to be a solid choice, but I think we should do uh, administrative first, and then economic, maybe. They're both going to have to happen at some point, right? I th and I think that the coring cost is going to be more beneficial over time to have first than just simply, you know, money. Because we'll, we'll be able to raise money, you know, from raising. Anyway, so are you ready to declare war on Uh Yeah, are we just going to go attack their pretenders or let them exist? I think we'll leave that for now. They only have the 1-4, right? Looks like it. But we're going to have to fight Yaren and uh, Mongolia. But that's fine. It shouldn't be an issue. Oh, Ming will come. Ming will come for no reason, too. We don't we'll even... the size of Ming, now. <laughs> oh. We, did, we used to think that was strong. And now it's literally just four provinces. Oh, What a <laughs> shitty ally. Yeah. Well, Should we call right. Yaren as a co-belligerent? Um... They've got... They're allied with Korchin, too. So, yeah, no reason not to. So let's, yeah, let's declare, declare on Oirat and then call Yaren. No, it's going to increase our piety. Poop. All right, and then we'll make the war goal. Uh, we'll make the war goal one of these guys over here. All right, ready? Yep. Oh, that added a whole another two years to our technologies. Why? Because of the lack of piety change. No. Oh. I mean, it's we're still. What, and what what techs are they? There's five, six, six, and we are eight, right? Yeah. So we have the. <laughs> They're done. They're done. Oh they... yeah, Oriad has five again, and we're at eight. <laughs> Goodbye. Like being a horde as a player is just retarded. How like. It's it's like I read I read on Reddit that somebody they said they quoted it perfectly. It's it's the epitome of having your cake and eating it too. <laughs> I wonder how significant the first patch will be. Like the first big. That's like, why I'm like so upsetty. 
player kick it patch where they're just like, all right, well, we've seen what you guys can do, and we're going to cut everything down by four-fifths. What I'm and upset then, about most is probably they're going to do... Um, is they're going to, like, nerf it, and then I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have time to do my thing. Yeah, I guess it, I'm going to have to really know when they have to put a patch out, because then I'll just be like, all right, well, I'm going to have to binge this. And then I'll be done. Their rebels came over here, so I'm just gonna make way for those guys. That's fine. Where are they gonna go next? They have to. Their tech level by clicking on them. Yeah, it's like a mystery. <laughs> like another Oriot, but Lithuania's got some rebels. Poland still doesn't know what they want to think of us. Well, They're if like, I hmm. click maintain after you click recall, what happens? D don't Does the time blows up. continue and blow up? Probably. We don't know what you want. Stop. Oh god, Tibet. Why does Tibet do this all the time? Look at them dying. Like, they're just going to die right now. Unless they're our tech level. No, they're six. <laughs> Not even, I mean, it doesn't even matter what, like, the, uh, the pretender, the rebels are going to be just general tech level, but it looks like Oirat's going to go have to fight them now, maybe. Hopefully, yeah. that's my dream, is for them to get into a fight with each other. No, we'll just sit here and be like, oh, it's nice in your capital. <laughs> no need for us to move around. We're doing a good job of pillaging, too. Holy cow, 10 gold. Golden Horde declared war on Kazan too. I think Muscovy controls both of it. Yeah. No, gold, the Kazan declared on Golden Horde. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, early, that's right. earlier. That was the original war. A while ago, yeah. And I guess Muscovy was like, "Ha! Now's my chance. Yeah, their manpower Muscovy's is low." Invaded Crimea too. Okay, we got their capital. Did they fight? No. Nope, they're heading east. Killed. Oh God. I guess we had to fight their goddamn rebels, but it's, they're going to attack us into the mountains. And we've got our three shock dude, so I think we'll be okay. Surprised at how good of... Uh, maybe not. Six, eleven. Alright, goddammit. We really only have two good provinces. Well, we're not going to take just Oiret, remember. We're going to probably be able to annex Oiret and part of Mongolia, and we can set repeat your end, too, so... I, mean, I don't know if it's going to even let us take any of your rend, though. Because, oh no, it's our continent, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. We can do what we want. We could take. I'm going to attack them. All of Oryat and two of Mongolia's provinces that would connect us with Uran, which would mean that we could take, like, the western part of Uran. That's cool. But we would need 96 war score. I think we should make a, a beeline for the coast over there in Uran. Like take the top of them, and we can we can core that easy. Yeah, because it's in our it's in our continent. Is it any good though? Oh, it's actually really good, considering the rest of our provinces. It's halfway decent. It's... <laughs> actually, if I were to hit the U key, it's orange. Ooh. Considering all of Asia is red. Dang paradox. What's Muscovy's mission now? <laughs> Just sit on Kazan for forever? Oh, it's because they're fighting Kazan's ally, Crimea, still. Yeah. And, and Poland, then... Poland's probably not like, probably like, I'm not going to give you access. We're still gaining good money. Um, we're almost at max manpower. Do you want to build like more cab or something? Sure, I don't see why not. You maybe. want to build some cav and then maybe like two, three mortars, something like that? Oh, wow, I forgot we have mortars. Yeah. Uh, mm. we're, like, we're cutting edge because we're a horde. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all, not really. It didn't used to make sense, but now it does. I think the thing is, like, I don't. would this make sense? Like, 
I, this is obviously not historic, you know. No. But does it kind of make sense that if you're a conquering horde, you know, all the people you roll over is part of your conquest, I would guess I'd assume, you know, you kind of like integrate their technology. So it does kind of make sense. It does, yeah. If you think of like how the Mongols did it, like they started out as just steppe people living in huts. Mm-hmm. And as they moved west, they ate all the good stuff. And pretty much anyone that knew anything, they kept alive. And anyone that didn't know anything, they killed. So, I hope Paradox doesn't nerf it. Like They're going to. There's not a chance they don't. I mean, I mean they haven't... There has to be some sort of gimmick that someone's used. I've already seen a Kazan will conquer, which is what inspires me to keep trying, because I know it's possible. <laughs> I mean, I did pretty good. I think the last one had a lot of promise. It's just that I fucked it up. If I hadn't, uh, if I hadn't have done that, then I would have been fine. What are we gonna do about the seven and a half stack? I'm uh, moving all of my our uh, cab over there, and then um, I didn't notice that Oriot stack that's standing there. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we could. Let's uh let's merge all of our new troops and then once that thing finishes in uh, Mongolia we can all attack in there and that'll be fine. Yeah, double siege is this province? Oh wow, it's both mountains. That kind of sucks. I mean, it doesn't matter. We we just destroyed them the last time I fought them like that, so it's fine. Just most important thing is going to be trying to survive against, uh, let's try to beat them in the fort game. Yeah. If we, I want to, if we can get that 42 stack dead, or that 42% siege, come on, damn it. <laughs> I had one that it was like, so you know, like 49 is a coin flip, 56 mm. is a coin flip. I had nine of those. Where it didn't go my way. Jesus. It's, like, it's just... It's just. Awful. Look, we finished this siege down here first. Alright, now go in on him. Oh, okay. And then we can just move north. I'm gonna send oops. the other army north. What'd you, you say? Send, oops. Oh, because I accidentally clicked the 8 stack to go north instead of... Oh, that's fine. I mean, it'll get there. But I was gonna have them move north after they fought this battle. But that's not really gonna work now. Another opportunity for a Diplo tech. I think we'll hold off. I mean, we'll probably be able to get it just fine afterwards anyways. Because we'll get all the points. Easy. We're not going to catch them. Then moving into Altai Yurikai. That's fine. We'll take the ten, the 7.5 stack to go kill them. Should probably actually be all we need. Uh, oh wow, we only actually have the three armies now, don't we? Yeah, I mean, we have them condensed. Our tactics are 0. 0.6 higher. Yeah. It's... Like, if you think late game, can you imagine late game a 0. 0.6 higher tactics than someone? Jesus. That would be ridiculous. There's no way you lose a fight with 0. 0.6 higher tactic. So we almost have all the Mongolian forts sieged as well. Nope. Why is the Timurids not? Yeah, <laughs> but we why? We can't pick any rivals. Yeah, we should definitely do that when we have the second in between wars. Yeah, it's gonna have to be Muscovy. That's fine. We're gonna rate Muscovy with the Poland's help. And our ridiculous. Sh the, the trick is fighting them in the steps because we get 25% more shock damage when we're fighting on our friendly step territory. So that's really the trick right there. Oh wow. Oh wow, we just got a 7%. We won that 7% siege right there. We can actually grab three Mongolian provinces now. Does your war score that you need go down after you take provinces? Sometimes. Because like I had it at 98 before, and that was with two. And then when I just went and re-brought it up, it was down to 90. 
I mean, it could be because we looted, maybe. That could be it, yeah, they're worth less. Yeah, because it just dropped another war score. Check it in them. Just double checking. Yeah, military tech isn't it close. We're actually seven years ahead of military tech, which is kind of funny. Yeah, so the all hail the conquering horde. Oh, and they uh, decided they wanted to attack us here. That's funny, Mongolia. I don't know if you noticed, but we have a two shock in the desert. And more morale. And point four tactics better. <laughs> and the numbers advantage. Did we squish them? Yeah. <laughs> and Yaren's low, too. Well, so. Yaren's got all those rebels. I saw their 19 stack floating around over here, and I was just like, hmm. And then I saw that they got all these troubles, and I'm like, oh, that's where you're going. Yeah, because but wasn't it before, like, the AI definitely preferenced attacking the player before they... Yeah, it's like, fuck my rebels. rebels. We must kill this goddamn it spray and pray. <laughs> you're doomed. Now I've noticed a lot, like, I don't think I noticed the AI before where they would, like, move troops to border provinces like near you like say you had mm -hmm. a border province that rebel like had a rebellion mm -hmm. the ai will move troops right next to that which i've never seen them do before just they're getting nice. smarter they are slowly but surely pretty soon though it won't be winnable skynet Ooh, we can't make that province a core, so we can't separate piece year end. We can't? Nope. We Why have not? to have it connected. Cannot select this province because Uzbek cannot make it a core. Wow. So we... <laughs> so just piece them out if we can. Yeah, which we probably could. They're low. I mean, if we could get a bunch of money out of them. Yeah, 193. You want to do it? And war ramps? No. Just 193 is fine with me. It's a building if we wanted to do it. Yeah, go ahead. Did you do it? <laughs> Woot. What? I did it now. <laughs> Oh, did you see me flipping it? Yeah, <laughs> and I was just like sitting there, and you just kept doing it. I was just, I was just gonna sit there and keep doing it. <laughs> so really, now we're at ninety-five. They'll peace out. I want to take all of the Mong Orirat and then the south of Mongolia and the Mongolia. South instead of the north. Do you want to connect with your end so we can go to war with them eventually? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you go ahead and peace out. I'm sure you got it worked out good. Okay, so we can grab the, what is it called? Ningxia, which is the southern west of Mongolia, and then mm -hmm. the northwest of Mongolia, which is Ihri. Sure, go ahead. Okay, and that's 100%. They would actually suffer problems, whatever that means, turmoil. Okay. And it's all of the Oriat, so I'm going to send it. Cool. No Diplo. Uh, what's our overextension at? Zero. Okay, because this is going to be 70. Good. I've sent it. Oh my god, we're so big. <laughs> Unstoppable. Oh, do we get Mongolia as a vassal? Damn Wait. straight, we do. No! Wait, no, you do! No, you didn't! No! What? <laughs> no! It says Orion is a T-Dog. No. Oh, <laughs> Why did you do this? Why did you do this? I forgot all about that one, I promise. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> ugly. It's so <laughs> ugly. I don't know oh, if I can. It's really funny. I don't actually. know if I can stand this. I took so much province, though. You can't even be mad. It was well worth it. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
god, and everything's tangry too. That was so worth it. <laughs> wow, their land is actually pretty good development. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and then, you know, because Mongolia's gonna break free now. I mean, I guess we could. I was. I thought it would be cool to have a free vassal, you know. Uh, I didn't even think about that province <laughs> over there. I was so content with taking all that. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Do you want me to core all this? Sure. Uh, make sure it gets all burnt. You let me know when it's all burnt. I don't know. I mean, I guess oh, it's all burnt. It. I mean, I guess it's all burnt now. No, there's one more. Are we good now? Nope. Alright, I think that's everything. Is, oh, well, what about U Uli... Ula... Ula, this one. Okay. Its price didn't drop. Probably just because it's three or something. Or maybe yeah, I hit that earlier. We can't core because we have a missionary going. Okay. Well, we'll just let the Oriot exist for a little while longer, I guess. I did the Diplotech as well. So how long until we can declare war on them again? Uh, it's only 15 Ten. years. Okay. Only sure. 15. We gotta go to war with Chang uh, Muscovy. Will you leave me an army of Ching? Ching has four. Jin has nine. I need an army of like 14,000. That's the whole army. No, it's not. You have 16, 17,000 to fight the Muscovy. Muscovy hordes. You'll be fine. Plus... So you want, you want that? You want this one fourteen stack up here? Here, I'll send that one down there. And this the one rest... will literally take me like a month. Okay. That the northernmost fourteen stack is what I left for you. Oh, okay. Just because that one was already made into fourteen, a bite size size, you know. Oh well, yeah, we'd like to move through our territory. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nine. I didn't want their four development anyway. I'm gonna okay. give the estates some of the no guy land. Okay. Yeah, I just gave him one. We giving him more? I'm giving him over here, yeah. Oh, I just got it. You're good. Okay. Oh, and you know what? We can buy manpower from them. Contribute warriors. That's the only really the thing. That's the only thing worth it really to do. What does it do? It uh, they lose oh, ten loyalty, yeah. and then and but we get a thousand one hundred or we get eleven thousand manpower though. Yeah. Which is super worth it. I'm exploring, by the way. That that's why we saw the free colonist. Oh, hello. Kakarum. Kakarum. Which really doesn't make sense because well, I guess that's Karakum. Because Karakorum is over in Mongolia. Alright, I'm going to go to war with Jin. I'm going to kill these natives. Do we want to gain piety right now? Probably. We have a lot of Tengri provinces. Is that good? Piety. I mean, I guess. We have to do it. It's in the eyes of God. Do you want me to just give this these provinces to Tibet, or are we going to expand it in China on our own? Uh, we should probably expand into China on our own so that we can, you know, uh, burn it. Oh, wow. It's actually, yeah, really high development. So, yeah, let's burn it. Um, Ming. Ming would join. Do you think Ming would Why do we have the stuff? tribes rebelling? We do? Yeah, why are the tribes rebelling? Where? Since when would they rebel? I don't know why they would. They're actually loyal. Yeah, they're, like, super loyal. You want to call Ming into that war, yo? You know? 
Get that, uh, they're two stack to help. They have a five and a seven, or a five and a two. They actually have one, one, two, three, four, wow. five, six. Oh, wow. You've got some problems to deal with over there. And our border with Muscovy is so clean now. Oh, someone else is already at war with Jin. Dang it. But I was going to take all their stuff. Can't actually move over there. Are you okay with the rebels over there? Can you handle them? Yeah. I just want to make sure. Should I call Jin into this war or Ming? I'm gonna call Ming. Why not? Yeah. So that stupid pop up goes away. <laughs> Get rid of that freaking horn on my screen. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, for five dollars a month, we can have a uh, discipline dude. We're losing money. Gosh dang colonies. We'd be making too much money. But we should probably end the episode there. Uh, can I kill these rebels? Oh, so you'd like to kill the rebels. Why can't I move into this province? Because it's glitched. It is glitched. I literally can't move into Jin. Oh, no, I can move up north. I lied. All right. But I can't move into the fort, which is adjacent. Well. Would you like to end there? Did you kill the Yeah, rebels? I think okay. we're good. Thank you guys all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And we will talk to you in the next one. All right.